Pamperdine, your name for the record, please. Pamelin, P-A-M-E-L-Y-N, F-E-R-D-I-N. An E is missing here. Sorry. That's okay. Mr. Gomez and Mr. Yosefian, you are not wildlife biologists and you are not in the medical field. So to say that coyotes are standing outside of people's fences lurking and waiting to jump over and grab a toddler is not only asinine, but it just shows your complete ignorance of this issue. Over 24 years ago, the child you talked about in an unsupervised area was allegedly killed by a coyote. That child had a ruptured spleen from the medical records and as an RN who works in the emergency room, that comes from blunt trauma. Blunt trauma comes from a beating, not a bite to the spleen. More children die from bee stings in a month than have gotten hurt by a coyote in the history of this city. Are you going to sn start snaring bees? I would like to read you a quote from Charles Darwin. Few men could endure to watch for five minutes an animal struggling in a trap. I know of no sight more sorrowful than that of these creatures as they are seen in the torture grip of these traps. They sit drawn up into a little heap as if collecting all their force of endurance to support their agony. Some sit in a half torpid state induced by intense suffering. Most young ones are found dead after some hours of it, but others as you start up struggle violently to escape and shriek pitifully from terror and the pangs occasioned by their struggles. It is scarcely possible to exaggerate the suffering thus endured from fear, from acute pain, maddened by thirst and by their vain attempts to escape. Some who reflect on this subject for the first time will wonder how such cruelty can have been permitted in this age of civilization. And no doubt if men of education saw this with their own eyes, what takes place under their sanction, the system would have been put to an end a long time ago. I will finish by saying, Animal Defense League has members all over the city of L.A. You did not get all the options from the police department or Mr. Starbird regarding coyotes. Mr. Bell, along with biologists nationwide, agree that trapping and killing coyotes is barbaric and will not work. If you implement this evil, archaic, and barbaric policy, I promise you, we will be in front of your churches, of your schools, of your malls, and we will show undercover footage showing animals squirming around in these cholera traps. We will educate your children to let them know what their council people are doing to their wildlife that they have a right to grow up with and respect and coexist. So please, do not kill and trap coyotes and the other animals that get caught in these traps accidentally, like birds and dogs and cats and children walking around in these areas where there are traps. Until the killing is stopped, we will not back down.